Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So it's the weekend and I got to get my nails done, of course. Shout out to Nail Reserve for all of these gorgeous colors and for sponsoring this portion of the video. So I decided to go dark this time around because I always do white or a classic French tip. Um, and I also cut my nails pretty short. So I just wanted to switch things up a little bit. So I picked the color dark and classy because it's perfect for this time of year. And I think that colors that are darker look really nice on short nails. Nails. that's just my opinion so I figured why not and I really love nail reserve gel polishes like I swear by them so if you are looking for healthy vegan gel nail polish that lasts while keeping your real nails healthy and strong be sure to use my discount code hairlicious for 50% off your next order and I absolutely love the dark and classy vibe it is gorgeous Hey guys, happy Friday. So I'm back with another weekend vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys are happy, safe, and healthy, of course. Lots of viruses going around, so protect yourself. I know I was under the weather a couple weeks ago. It was just the sniffles, just a lot of congestion up here. Stuffy nose, watery eyes, sneezing, that sort of thing. And I'm not one to take any kind of like medicine. I like to just make it naturally go. At the time I was doing like a flu bomb tea, so ginger, garlic, honey, turmeric also is really really good to boost your immune system. What else? And lemon. And I would drink that at least like three times a day. I'm actually on my way to an appointment right now. It's about 2.30 and I gotta be there for 3 o'clock. You guys saw my nail um, little routine so I cut my nails they were much longer than this honestly with this nail polish you guys it really makes my nails nice and hard I just find that my nails grow really really well with this gel for some reason typically when I do gel like at a nail salon my nails are like super soft like they peel they bend it just it's just a mess and they never do square like the way I want it I love doing my nails at home it just works for me I love that convenience that's the nail situation and and of course, I'm on that healthy scalp challenge. So you guys saw my um, green smoothie that I like to do maybe every other day or so. And it's like protein packed. So it has my protein powder. Um, I like to add in peanut butter only because it kind of masks the, um, the greens. So the arugula and the kale, which is amazing for iron. So if you have any kind of deficiency or you just want to top up, there's your iron and I also do it in coconut water with a banana and then chia seeds and hemp hearts those are amazing natural ways of getting um, your omega-3s also getting protein hemp hearts are packed with protein fiber so you're just getting all of the good stuff all in one drink and you're good to go and that's basically what the healthy scalp challenge is about so just really maximizing on nutrition so it's really focused on making sure you're taking care of your internal health as well as the external so i'm doing the extreme level and that consists of oiling and massaging my scalp every other day it is such a challenge <laughs> but i've been doing pretty good i would say you massage with oil maybe about three to five minutes or so and then you do a pre-poo with an oil on wash day. So I've been doing um, my pre-poos with coconut oil, which I absolutely love. And then I proceed with my usual wash day. Um, so shampoo and then deep condition. And then I would continue with my nutrition. So having my water intake up there, it's been a challenge, but so far so good. I have like that um, marble huge uh, <laughs> water bottle. So I fill that up maybe about one and a half times throughout the day. And it's been good. Water's up there, taking my vitamins. So my multis I take, I take a B complex and then I take um, a probiotic. That's it. 
the challenge has been great you guys i'm like i have a lot of new growth okay <laughs> i'm about 10 weeks post relaxer going on 11 and the growth is serious it's the, the new growth is new growthing okay for me it's more so like uh it's like a lifestyle it's like a self-care like these things um, it's basically like the foundation of healthy hair care and you want to continue doing these practices. Um, a challenge is a great way to kind of kickstart that habit. So if you feel to continue doing this challenge into the new year, by all means do so. I'll probably do the same thing. So yeah, that is it. And I'm really loving my nails, you guys. Like, I love it. I'm so used to like a white look, but this, this is it for me. Hey guys, this is my sis. You okay. already know Mel. She does my hair. Look at you, you look so cute. Oh my gosh, thanks Mel. Okay, so we're out right now. It is, um, what time is it? It's about six. I'm waiting for my son to finish his coding class and I'm gonna head to the mall. So I need to get a moisturizer because I'm like almost out and just exchange some stuff. And we're here with the kids. There's my niece <laughs> and my daughter is sleeping back there wow all right let's go hi Izzy, babe this car's right i did not bring no, you anything <clears throat> i gotta go to the mall real quick because i gotta exchange some things of course and then i know right on my and then i gotta get a, a new moisturizer so we're gonna head over there now you look so 90s i can't get over it <laughs> doesn't she look 90s guys like so like oh brandy and baby 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 video like that's what you look Who like remembers that video? okay listen i'll tell you i was in grade 10 i'm revealing my age right now i was in grade 10 with that video right like i was, was, like I, was 10. I was in elementary school but i remember it to this day i was in high school to this day i still play those tracks okay so you look like that and it's just giving <laughs> You gonna hold it for me? Yes. Thank you. I don't want to add anything else to mommy's um, basket because I get carried away. That's why. Do you have money? Yeah, mommy has money, but I don't want to spend all of it. That's the hair perfume. Mm -hmm. it you got so a good. sample, so you're gonna get a, a bigger one now, or did? Yeah, I wanted the bigger one. Yeah, it smells so nice. It's hair and body. Spray it. Let me smell it. What does it smell like? Yeah, and you spread in your hair, you smell No, that smells amazing. really good. So I'm about to go to sleep, so I figured I'd jump on here and show you how I oil my scalp right before bed, especially since I'm doing the healthy scalp challenge. Okay, so what I like to do first is shake this up, that way everything is nice and blended. And then I just part my hair down the middle. So I go from the middle, this way, this way, this way, until I reach the front. That makes sense. So I'm gonna open this up. I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty clear. oil rub it in part and I just repeat those steps until I've completed one side can't forget the hairline edges and then at the end I'll do like a full like scalp massage so yeah so far the challenge has been great you guys as I mentioned I'm in the extreme level so that is um, applying the oil every other day um, I haven't really witnessed any significant like way down hair or anything like that since I've been using it so often but the growth <clears throat> the growth you guys oh my goodness it is a lot and this oil has been 
amazing for it. Like I can't, I can't stray from this. The shedding has decreased the thickness. I feel the difference in like my new growth and how it's coming through. It just feels like just better quality. Um, and it's not just what I'm using topically. Obviously the nutrition plays a huge role. And that's why I said, um, as part of the challenge requirements, nutrition is like super important. So you want to ensure that you're drinking enough water. Um, 64 ounces is like the minimum. And then you also want to ensure that you're having enough fruits and vegetables and um, you're taking your vitamins. So now I'm going to massage all the oils and all that good stuff into my scalp. So what I do is I don't like completely mess up my new growth because that's just going to cause a lot of tangles. I like to just place my fingers on my scalp and kind of move like the skin a bit. Like you want to see kind of <laughs> this kind of movement, although it looks so weird, but you kind of want to just move the scalp. Okay. You don't want to rough up your new growth and cause the tangles, but you kind of just want to move the scalp a bit to create that stimulation for growth. I kind of drag the oils down from my scalp onto my ends and my hair feels pretty good right now. Oh, let me show you guys what I got from the mall today because um, I'm really proud of myself. I went to Sephora and only got one thing. Okay, so here's what we got. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, this is the Dewy Moisture um, Moisturizer from the Glow Recipe line. I got a small sample of this one and I actually like it on my skin. It really helps with hydration and it's thin. It doesn't disturb my acne or anything like that. And it's light. It doesn't burn. It doesn't cause any weird sensation. So in my book, that's a good thing because I've been through it. Oh, and I also got some stuff from Home Sense. I'm going to show you guys. So I had to pick up something for my makeup. So I got this. This is like a cute little makeup bag. And um, what I'm using right now is kind of flimsy and doesn't really hold my makeup properly. So just the essential stuff. If I'm traveling or if I'm going away for the weekend, I can put it in this. And it's black inside. And it's really, really deep. I thought this was really cute. I had to grab it, only $14.99. And of course I had to go to the candle section. Love my candles. So I got the Sand in Fog candle and this is white, white pumpkin. So made with natural essential oils. Oh, it smells so good. So I just love the leper. Like you guys see the theme going on here? Cute. Like how adorable is that? Love, love, love. I love my print. I love my stripes. I love polka dots. I love leopard and a touch of gold. That is me. What do I have planned tomorrow? I don't have much planned. I do have a dinner to go to in the night. My husband's grandmother's 91st birthday. So it's a huge milestone. So we'll be out celebrating her. Um, I know I need to pick up some more Humecto. Like Care Care Humecto is a staple. You guys know this. If you follow me for all these years, you know that it has been like a huge pillar in my hair care regimen, in my hair journey. And the tub is done and my hair needs it like i feel like it's just missing something and that's what it's missing so i'm gonna re-up on that and the shampoo sometime this weekend i'll hit up my um, avalon distributor mary you guys know i spoke about her a couple times so i will um reach out to her and hopefully grab something by tomorrow or sunday so that is it going to bed tired it's late and i'll see you guys tomorrow So yeah, here is where everything is going to be stored. It's nice and neat. The inside is black, so it won't really expose <laughs> all the makeup mess. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. And it's cute, it's strong, it's sturdy, and it holds everything that I need. And then some, like there's a lot more space in here. So yeah, I'm happy. <laughs>
Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I just finished making breakfast for me and the little one. She's the only one that's up with me right now. I got my vitamins in, really happy about that. Took my omegas, multi, uh, probiotic, and my um, B complex. So that's out of the way. All right, so something came in the mail and I think I know what it is. Clearly it says right on the box, but with all the running around yesterday and the errands, I totally forgot to open it up and show you guys. Are you guys ready? You guys know I reached 100K, 100,000 subscribers this year. I wanna say it was like early April. And usually when you obviously reach that milestone, you're supposed to um, claim your reward or award, sorry. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. Totally forgot, applied for it like a couple weeks ago and it's here. I think it's here, it has to be it, like it has to. So I'm gonna unbox it in front of you guys. You guys have no idea how nervous and excited I am at the same time. Like you see the YouTube play button on um, like online on people's channel, but it's like to open up your own. It's like, uh, I applied for this thing so late, but better late than never. Ah, I see it, it's silver. I'm sorry, don't mind me, eh? Three, two, one. It says presented to Halicious Saint for passing 100,000 subscribers. This is huge, you guys. This is, this is, this is, I don't, I don't even have the words. This is definitely one of the biggest things that I've achieved online and um, I couldn't have done it without you guys. It's just amazing how like your passion can really just flourish and um, when you're serving others, you guys, that's when the blessings come, okay? Always be of service to others, always be helpful. If you can bless someone else, by all means do it, okay? That's how I feel and that's how I've conducted myself and clearly this is the fruits of that, so. So thank you guys, appreciate it. Love y'all, of course, I know that. I always give you kisses at the end of my videos. And I actually had a subscriber tell me, I just subscribed to you because of the kisses that you do at the end of your videos. So you guys know, it's all love. You guys are the bomb. My subscribers are the best and your loyalty is unmatched because a lot of you guys have been there since the beginning, like hair lista days, um, forum days, you know, um, just way back when. And you guys have stuck with me have grown with me and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your loyalty. I have no other words, but thank you. And um, I love you guys. All right guys, so here are the packages that came. I'm gonna unbox them with you. So I have one from H&M and this one's from Amazon. Here are the stuff from H&M. So I got a bag and then I got some boots. So I really liked this because it has like that nice black and gold vibe. You guys know I love black and gold. And then it has like this quilted look. And this kind of reminds me of like the Chanel logo, but it's not. <laughs> and then it has like the nice gold chain. It's just really pretty. Definitely something for like in the evening, date night, that type of vibe. All right, so here are the boots. Really cute. And then the bag. So very happy with this purchase. So most likely I'll be wearing this bag tonight. All right, so here is the Bible that I ordered. It's the New King James Version. I have the NIV, but I kind of like the way the New King James Version um, text is. It's just easier for me to memorize verses in New King James versus NIV. So I got this, and then I got these cute little Bible tabs. So this is um, for Old and New Testament, and it's like a nice rose gold, pinkish kind of color. I'm gonna be putting all of the chapters in. It's like a nice black finish, very plain, very simple, very minimal. And um, I can write and put notes on the sides. So I love this. And I'm a type of person I like to highlight verses. I like to put my own notes, you know, put my interpretation or little prayers on the sides. So this is perfect. And you guys know I love my black and gold and my Bible is black and gold. So there you go. I can't wait to put the tabs on and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done.
All right, guys, so while I deep condition, I figured I would do some reading. I have about 24 minutes on the clock right now while I deep condition with my protein. Let's address the elephant in the room, okay? I have an article here. This is on the whole hair straightening chemicals associated with uterine cancer. Um, I have about two articles here that I'm going to read. So I'm going to read through it. I got my pen here. I'm going to circle, underline, whatever sticks out to me and um, definitely let you guys know how I feel about everything because I've gotten nothing but questions about this whole article and this whole situation with relaxers. So um, let me read through it and I will talk to you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I had a chance to read through both articles. I have two here with me. So one is a good 11 pages long by Lauren A. Wise, Julie Palmer, and Lynn Rosenberg. And then the other one is from the NIH. Um, and I think this one is an article based on the study. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, it's basically summarizing what the study was about. But then again, both were kind of confusing to me. I will admit I was very overwhelmed and kind of taken aback by all of this stuff. <laughs> um, I got a lot of questions, a lot of comments, and it's just a lot. The first article, the 11 page study, um, basically what I got out of this, cause I'm not gonna go into detail and summarize both articles. If you have seen it online, you'll know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, be sure to check it out, read it for yourself. I always suggest doing your own research and understanding it for yourself. So with this study, it did mention that um, the scalp inflammation, so the lesions, any burning that you do get from a lye or even no lye relaxer could increase the absorption of endocrine disrupting chemicals that's in relaxers. That's why I always say, you know, prep your scalp properly prior to a relaxer, base your scalp a couple days before a relaxer because that always helps not disturbing your hair and scratching your scalp is super important. But then that article also goes into detail saying, you know, we're unable to provide insight as to the specific mechanisms by which hair relaxers could influence risk. It is possible that hair relaxers use a proxy for exposure to other products containing high levels of endocrine disrupting chemicals and that the hair relaxers themselves are not the causal agents. Um, the ingredients that they did mention as possibly causing cancer are not necessarily in relaxers, but more so in black hair care products. And it's really sad to say this. Um, I'm a person that loves to research. You guys see me here on my phone. I'm researching these chemicals. I'm looking into you know, what these chemicals do and what products they're actually in. So um, my aha moment from all of this is basically read the ingredients of everything you use and put on your hair. And I mean that with all seriousness, parabens, metals, formaldehyde, phthalates, these things obviously are not good and could possibly increase cancer as with anything else in life the foods we eat, the water we shower with, like the lotion that we put on ourselves, the perfume, everything that we use can cause some kind of illness, disease of some sort. Moving forward, I'm gonna be making some changes in my regimen, in my routine and the products that I do use. And I say this because a relaxer that you use maybe four times a year is not gonna have a deep impact on your health as opposed to something that you're using on a daily basis. And these products that are typically geared towards black women that you use on a daily basis can cause issues. For example, parabens, they're preservatives and they're typically listed at the bottom of your ingredient list and that can be methylparaben, um, ethylparaben, like there's a there's like a good five of them and I understand that they prevent contamination in the products but at the same time they do have estrogenic effects on the female body. Here on out I'm looking out for those in my products. I've looked through majority of what I use and I don't see any parabens in them. As far as formaldehyde goes that is a known carcinogen and it is not listed as formaldehyde in our products, but it's under a different name. For example, DMDM Hydentoin, and that is in a lot of black hair care products. And unfortunately, I found this ingredient in a few of my staples that I use, and it's been so disheartening, you guys, you have no idea. I will no longer be using S-Curl No Drip Curl Activator 
because it has DMDM hydantoin in it. And that is a formaldehyde, which is a known carcinogen. And that, you guys, is trash to me. I'm not interested in using that product anymore. There are alternatives on the market. You guys, it's, 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 I'm crushed. I'm so crushed. But at the same time, I'm happy that this article came out because through my research and just looking online and just seeing what formaldehyde could be listed under, DM, DM is one of them. My even edge control had it, um, another edge control, a few other edge controls I had to throw out because it was listed in them. And I've noticed these ingredients in some cream of nature products, ORS products, Revlon, like, their permanent hair dyes it's just in everything my takeaway from all of this is basically read your ingredients understand what these ingredients do for example parabens metals formaldehyde dilates and how they're i guess masked as other ingredients and then also you know be cautious of how frequently you're relaxing your hair if you do choose to relax which i don't think is an issue just be cautious of how often you're doing it i wouldn't say any more than four times a year if you can go less than that, even better. Be sure to neutralize your hair thoroughly. This is why I stress neutralizing as much as I do. The frequency of using your relaxer, um, how long you're leaving it on your scalp, and just be mindful of the ingredients in your relaxer. And I also want to bring attention to a lot of these relaxer kits. So the no lie relaxer kits, they tend to have a lot of these um, cancer causing or possibly cancer causing ingredients like parabens and formaldehydes in the products that come with the relaxer. So not necessarily in the relaxer, but the neutralizing shampoo, the oil moisturizer, the conditioners, the shampoos, look at those, okay? Because Yes, you want to blame the relaxer, but the relaxer chemicals are typically fatty alcohols, oils, um, sodium hydroxide, obviously, and mineral oil and petrol atom. But it's the products associated with the relaxer that is the issue as well, including the products that we use on a daily basis. So being the person that I am, I had to reach out to someone just to kind of get a little bit more clarity, just someone with a little bit more expertise because I needed to understand this better. So I reached out to the chemist at Avalon, the actual chemist that creates the um, relaxer for the Fiber God relaxer and the Affirm Conditioning relaxer. So Dr. Ali Said is the one that I reached out to. He's been a huge supporter of my channel and my blog from like day one. Um, we've developed like a great relationship. He did um, break down like his observations and comments on the studies. And this is what he said. The scientists talk about straightening products, which could include smoothing treatments based upon formaldehyde and methylene glycol. The relaxers are also two types. That is based upon sodium hydroxide as lye relaxers and guanidine hydroxide as no lye relaxers. The study mentions in its introduction that ingredients such as formaldehyde, so formaldehyde releasing ingredients in some straighteners could be responsible for the correlations between straightener use and uterine cancer. So he also mentions that a firm relaxers do not contain formaldehyde or formaldehyde releasing agents, parabens, phthalates, or fragrances that could contain endocrine disrupting chemicals. So that right there kind of gave me some reassurance. He is the chemist of Avalon and he did mention that I could share this information with you guys. It's a lot to take in and I understand the climate that us relaxed ladies have to kind of live in. But at the same time, these articles kind of created a huge uproar with no accurate conclusion. Like there's no definitive answer. So it's like, okay, what do we do with this information? But for me, my huge takeaway is looking at ingredients on a deeper level and to just be cautious of how I'm using my relaxer and the frequency of my relaxer and using a relaxer that is not containing any kind of endocrine disrupting ingredients. So I'm gonna be looking at those things moving forward. A lot of changes you guys are gonna be made. So I just wanted to let you know in advance and hopefully my opinion and the information that I'm bringing to you can kind of give you a little bit more clarity. Just speaking with Dr. Said, he really reassured me that, that fragrances or parfum, also known as phthalates, consists of many ingredients. 
and many of those fragrances or those ingredients could be endocrine disruptors. But he did mention that at Avalon, their fragrances are free of endocrine disruptors and phthalates are also considered endocrine disruptors and they don't use any phthalates in their products. So if you are using Avalon products, you're good to go. <laughs> um, and if you're using any other um, relaxer brands, look at the ingredients, not only the relaxer, but look at the shampoo, the neutralizer, the conditioners, look into those things because moving forward, I gotta chuck my ORS neutralizing shampoo, my ORS replenishing conditioner, um, my S curl, no drip curl activator, my even edge control, my other edge controls I threw out as well. So yeah guys, that's everything. You guys let me know down below what your plans are when it comes to relaxing and if you are making any changes in your regimen as a result. All right, so here are the products that I got from um, Mary. So of course, I got my Care Care Humecto. I'm gonna be using this right now to deep condition because I just finished shampooing. Ah, I just finished shampooing with um, step one, which is the hydrating and detangling shampoo. Um, I also got the hydrating and detangling shampoo. <laughs> and as you guys can see, it's huge. It is massive. It is like a good gallon, okay? So I'll be using this on my son, on myself, anybody in the household that needs their hair shampooed, they'll be using this right here. And then she gave me this, which is the dry and itchy scalp. This is step one. So this is a shampoo. It's the anti-dandruff moisturizing shampoo. I heard a lot of good things about this. So I have that. Um, this is step two, the conditioner. So this is the dry and itchy scalp anti-dandruff moisturizing conditioner. And I wanna say you can leave this on, it's more so like a rinse out, but I've heard people um, actually deep conditioning with this and getting really good results. And then I have the Glossifier. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So some new goodies from Care Care, love this line. And of course had to re-up and restock on my staples. So the shampoo and the Humecto back here. You guys know I like to add oils to the Humecto. So I'm gonna get that started. So that should be a good amount of oils. And then I'm gonna crack open my Care Care. I'm so excited. So creamy and lovely. So I'm gonna scoop some of this out, put it in my um, container and then mix everything together. All done, ready to go.